Hello, and thank you for joining us for a very special presentation from Comm Theory in Five Minutes on the Knowledge Gap Theory. But before we begin, let us refresh your memory on what exactly the Knowledge Gap Theory is. Christy? As the infusion of mass media information into a social system increases, segments of the population with higher socioeconomic status tend to acquire this information at a faster rate than the lower status segments, so that the gap in knowledge between these segments tends to increase rather than decrease. I'm Molly and this is Christy and today we will be visually exploring the knowledge gap theory through the use of a story of two friends, Katie Titchener and Sammy Olin. Let's begin. This is our dynamic duo back in the day. These two met outside one day at the neighborhood park. Which means they're from the same town. The two became great friends and played together all the time. Hey Sam, do you want to watch Sesame Street with me today? Yeah, totally. I love that show. The characters are so goofy, but I don't really understand what they're saying. Debbie Jekyll and not of course, the Wixies. <laughs> it's the most remarkable word I've ever seen. Abkadepki, Jekyllman, not worse to Wixie. You at least know this song, right? No, I don't. Oh. My mom taught me how to read. We read all the time together. Um, reading's too hard for me. I don't really like it. Oh. Yeah. Unfortunately, while Katie was learning her ABCs, Sammy was watching television. The, the gap, gap widened. widened. stayed friends through elementary school, middle school, and high school, though veering down different paths. Katie was an active member of the debate team, while Sammy enjoyed swimming. However, both girls had a good time going to the tutoring center. Katie would help younger children learn math, while Sammy got help with English. Then came high school, and with high school came the internet. Hey Sam, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Katie. Nothing. You know, just checking up on my social media. Oh, I just got a Facebook, too. Oh. So you just got a Facebook, but you're on the New York Times website? I just like to stay current, you know, keep up to date with things. Okay. Did you hear about that tragic bombing at the Boston Marathon? Uh, no. Did you know that, uh, hashtag cuts for fever's trending, though? I must have missed that. Oh, yeah, it's totally all over media. You see, while Katie was using the internet for national events, Sammy was updating her profile and seeing how many followers she had on Twitter. The gap widened again. Next came college, and the girls went their separate ways for the first time ever. Katie went to the big city. She attended NYU. She graduated with honors and a degree in political science and economics. Sammy struggled to find a school that would accept her low scores from high school and went to community college. Then, one day, the two had an unexpected reunion. Just working tirelessly on that campaign out in DC. Happy to be back. What campaign is that for? The presidential election. Right. Yeah. Sure. Did you hear about it? You know, billboards, TV, radio. Um. You know, I think I remember seeing something, but I don't care. Who, you know, who cares oh. about those things? You know? Did you get a chance to vote? Oh, in American Idol. I totally did. Oh, it was good seeing you, Sammy. What? And, and the, the gap, gap widened yet again. again. And that's the Knowledge Gap. Thanks for joining us. This ain't a diss song. 
I just think it's really funny. Wait, there's people out there? <laughs> 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 uh, that test for Monday was awfully crazy. I hope it's graded. Cheating. Uh, my Take ass two. I'm up in my dorm room completely <laughs> naked. <laughs> buy my books and I read all night. With my degrees, so I will be all me, right. Maybe. I till 10. Start, start that over. Bed, <laughs> wake so up sick. at 7 and <laughs> do Sammy. it again. Because I love Sammy. knowledge Sammy. and I can't so wait for the show. New school clothes, mom and I get all. And I keep my class schedule to my dorm room wall. Then I head to the woods and I purchase it all. Staples and pencils, pens and erasers. Cool color highlights. Guys, I'm out of character, okay? Pocket protector for all of my pens. I just can't wait to study with my friends.